Hi everyone, Lori Whitlock here. Today I want to introduce you to a brand new set of light up cards that I have at the Silhouette Design Store and in my shop in SVG format at shop.loriwhitlock.com. These cards are simply adorable. When you push on the little button, they light up. Isn't that cool? They're so, so cute. And if you've been card making um, for a long time, you've probably tried to make some of these by hand and you know that they're a lot of work. So what I've done is created some templates that you can use with your digital cutting machine and use the print and cut feature to print out and cut out a template for the um, electronic portion of the card and also the card front. So they're simple to put together, um, they're easy. All you need is a few supplies and I'm gonna go through those supplies with you and I'm gonna walk you through all the assembly steps here in this video. But basically when it comes to the lighting, you've got a couple of different options. The very most reliable method is to use these Chibitron Chibitronics um, sticker lights. So they're little um, lights and on the back side they're adhesive and they stick down to this metallic copper foil tape. And this is adhesive on the back side as well. This is a very, very reliable method, but it's also the most expensive method. So the other option is you can buy copper tape um, that is a different brand and it works pretty well as well. Um, I'm gonna show you an example where I've used this and it does work, it works, it works quite well. Um, just know that I've had the very best, most reliable results when I use the Chibitronics. It seems to be just a little bit thicker, maybe a little more dense um, copper in it. Um, as well as there's another lighting option um, and these are called SMD LED lights. And don't worry, I'm going to put all the links to all of this in the description of this video so you can decide what you want to to buy. Um, just to give you an example, this card right here is an SMD light and this little Easter card here is the Chibitronics light. And you can kind of see how those, that's a small, tiny little pinpoint light. And these SMD lights are a little bit larger. So uh, like I mentioned, these SMDs actually come in some other sizes, um, but they are teeny tiny. They're little five millimeter lights. They look like this right here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but they're just five millimeter little tiny lights. And right here, this is kind of the mechanics of the inside of the card. Um, like I mentioned, I'm giving you with the file when you buy it, a little print and cut template that shows you exactly where to put down the copper wire, where to put, or the copper tape and where to put the light and where to put the little switch. Um, but basically it's a little copper tape piece, goes around the switch and you have a positive and negative side and that's all marked in the templates and you'll see that here in a minute when we put our um, card together. But basically you take the little light or the little Chibitronics sticker and you need to bridge those uh, two lines. And you can see that that's not working and that's because my light is oriented the wrong way. The positive and negative actually does matter. So when I put it the right way, you can see that it lights up. So the 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 difficulty with this SMD light is getting it to adhere to and make good connection with this copper tape. So you can use a drop of super glue, but I found that that's sometimes a little bit unreliable. So I have been using some packing tape and I just put a nice strip of packing tape across that light, make sure that it pushes down on that light really well and that does create a nice uh, contact that's quite reliable. And you can see that I'm using the less expensive light and the less expensive tape here on this example and it's working just fine. So I wouldn't be concerned if you want to save a little money and try using the SMD light with the copper uh, foil tape that's less expensive. But um, if you want to buy like the nicer copper foil tape and the, the cheaper lights, that might be something you want to consider as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move our little example off to the side. I'm going to let you take a look one more time at each of these when they light up. Uh, you light up my life. You've got a cute little unicorn that sparkles and I love you with a heart. Um, one thing to note is you can get some of these lights in different colors as you're shopping around. You might look for some other colors as well. All of these are white lights. 
So let's get started putting our card together. Um, I think I've given you all the information you need about the lighting and um, such as you're making your decision on what you want to buy. Uh, but the, the cutting file is going to cut out the um, window on the front of your card in exactly the precise position. Um, the template's gonna show you where to put your little push button. Um, and these turn out looking really professional. So I'll go over a full materials list next and we'll, we'll put one together. Let's get started putting together our light up card. I've gone ahead and done printing cuts on all of the card pieces. So we have the back of the card that shows our little um, electronic circuit. We've got the front of the card that cuts a hole where our light is going to shine through. And we have a little switch piece. Um, it has some positive and negative pieces on there and we, I will show you how that works here in just a minute. We have our little sentiment that I've gone ahead and glued to a matte piece and put some adhesive foam on the back. And then a little push button that we've done the same thing, a little adhesive foam on the back of that. So you'll need some super glue, some regular glue, a piece of vellum. I've just got a little strip here. I'm just gonna cut, um, we'll be using that to line the back of our little opening here. I'm using the Silhouette Pick Me Up tool to handle the lighting so that it's easier to grab. Um, and then the lights, we need to talk about the lights. So this right here is 100 SMD LED lights. And they're each individually packaged, just trim them apart so that you can separate them. And then you'll just open that package up and get your little light out. And they're tiny, they're only five millimeters. And I will put the link to the one that I'm using in this video. This is a 50-50. Um, they do make smaller ones and I'm gonna order some of those next, but this is pretty small, it's five millimeter. And if you wanna see what that looks like, um, you can see here on the candle that that's exactly what that five millimeter light will look like when it's in a project. Um, another option is to use Chibitronics lighting and they are really nice little lights as well, but they're, they're a little more expensive. So either way works really well. Chibitronics is super easy to work with. Um, they're clearly marked with which side's positive and negative. The little SMD lights are not, you just kind of have to turn them until they work. Um, so it totally depends on you and, you know, how many lights you want to use on a project. But, um, when you're only using one light on a project, you can probably use either one. But if you want to go out and start making cards with more lights on them, you know, it might be more economical to use the little SMD lights. So, um, copper tape, SMD lights, some, uh, super glue, regular glue. Oh, the foam. We need to talk about foam. This, um, right along the edge of the card, you're going to need some quarter or eighth inch foam. So I was having a hard time finding one eighth inch foam um, that's thick enough. So they do make these rolls of foam, but it's really quite thin. I wanted something a little bit thicker. So I bought some Sizzix foam sheets and there's three black and three white in a package and you can get a lot of strips of one eighth inch foam on that. And that's what you're gonna use to go around the edge of the card. Um, builds up a nice edge to your card so that um, it'll keep the, the little battery from turning on all the time. So hopefully that all makes sense. We'll get started putting this together and it'll probably start making even more sense to you. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and adhere our little switch onto our circuit template. So you've got the glue switch here, sign note, and then you're going to glue, you make sure that your negative line mine, lines right up with your negative line, and you're gonna flip that over and glue on the bottom side of that negative. You wanna make sure this is firmly glued down and in place before you get started. So that's just gonna glue right just like that. And you'll notice on the positive side, there's a little arrow on the tip. That means you're gonna wrap your copper tape around this side too. So if you wanna mark this with a little line, you certainly could, but you don't have to. But basically that becomes our little switch. So you're also gonna need a little battery, like a lithium battery. Uh, this is a 2032. So it just looks like that coin style battery. And that's going to go inside of our little switch here and pay really close attention to the positive and the negative. You can see that this is the positive side of the battery. So that's going to face the positive side on our switch. But first we need to go ahead and put our little copper tape down. So I'm going to go ahead and use this eighth inch copper tape. 
And we're just gonna start laying it down up here at the top. You can see the little square here. This indicates where you're gonna actually glue your light so it'll line up with the front of your card. So, whoops, I'll go ahead and put that down. The main thing is you don't want our lines of copper to touch. When you get to the corner, you'll just go um, lay your tape down in the opposite direction and kind of crease that, and then you can just make a nice, neat little mitered corner there and get headed the direction you want to go. The main thing is you don't want this copper tape to tear or cause a a cut in the circuit and you'll just come around the front and quite honestly you only want to go about a third of the way and I'll probably take some of this line off before I print any more files because if it goes over too far then the battery makes too good of a connection and it doesn't turn off whenever you want it to turn off. So now we're going to go up to the top of our negative line there and run a line of copper down that as well. And you'll want those lines to be pretty close if you're using the SMD lights because um, you can see that they aren't very big. So you need the little metal pieces on each side of that light to touch um, each copper line. And the same with the Chibitronics ones as well. They do let you move them slightly farther apart, I believe, though. Okay, and you'll just follow that right onto your switch and then you can just tear that off. Okay, and then one of the things you really want to do is um, you want to push down, burnish down the, the copper tape really well. So I'm just going to use this little lid here to kind of push down. You can use a bone folder or whatever you have. Just make sure that your tape is fully adhered to the paper and that there aren't any breaks in it. And right there, we don't want that to short out, so I'm going to push that corner the other direction. Or at least push it away a little bit. And then come down this line as well. Okay, so if you were to accidentally trim, you'd have to make a patch. So make sure that your line has connection all the way down. Okay, so like I said, there's two different ways you can set this up. You can either use the SMD light, and these are so tiny and kind of hard to see, but actually maybe if I use the pick-me-up tool, you can see that there's um, some little metal, three little metal dots on each side, and I cannot tell with my naked eye which side is positive and negative, but it's pretty easy. You just lay it down with the three dots on one side and one three dots on the other side, and then you can close your circuit and see if it lights up. And it does. You can see it actually does light up in this position. I'll use my fingernail so you can see that better. We're just gonna put our battery in there and close our circuit, and you can see how well that works. If you rotate that around the opposite direction, you can see that it won't work. So just make sure that you get your little light oriented the correct way. So you can either glue this down with a dot of super glue. Works absolutely great. That's how I made this card right here. We just used a dot of super glue, put that light bulb in place and held it down. You might want to put something heavy on it for a little while. I just gave it good firm pressure with my fingernail for a couple minutes and it glued right down, no problem. Or you can use the Chibitronics lights. And these are marked with positive and negative. You have to look really closely, but the larger side is positive and the smaller side is negative. And you would just lay that down right in that position. And, oops, it's gonna glue down on me. i to pick that back up. It's a little off. So just make sure that the metal of the light and the metal on the uh, card base are making connection. And you can see that that works great too. And I do know that if you're using these, it's best to use a little piece of copper tape 
And you don't need to do that with the SMD lights, but a little piece of copper tape that goes across the top of each side of that light bulb is recommended just to make sure that it maintains a good contact there. And then you'll want to make sure that you burnish that down really well too. Okay, so just pushing that down. Okay, let's test that out. Yep, our light's working great. So now we just need to put our card together. Um, on the back of our little um, heart here, we need to put some vellum. So I'm gonna flip that over. And I think two layers of vellum works really well. So I'm just gonna cut off two little pieces of vellum. And I'm going, to, you can either glue them to each other or you can go ahead and glue one down and glue one on top of it. I don't want any of the glue to show, so just make sure to put that right over the back. And then I'm gonna do a second layer. The back of this piece will never be showing. It's gonna be hidden inside of our card. So I think two pieces of vellum looks nice because it kind of helps um, diffuse that light a little bit. So you can kind of test that out. Look how cute that is. So now we just need to prepare our card to glue it all together. So what I've done is I've cut the Sizzix foam adhesive sheets into 1 8 inch strips and I've given you the measurements on the sides of your template um, on your print and cut. So you will just go ahead and cut these to 3.75 inches and these to 4.75 inches. And you can just peel off one side of that backing and go ahead and put that down on the card base. And I'm gonna move that uh, battery and switch for a minute while I'm doing this. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do here is build up the area around the switch. So I've got some little one inch pieces of foam that are gonna go in these three positions that you can see around the switch. You don't need to put it on the back side, just these three. And it's okay to go ahead and put that foam right over that copper tape on the top side. This kind of helps the switch uh, not make connection um, when you don't want it to. You actually have to push down to get it to work. So um, one thing that I found is it actually helps to build this up even a little higher than the edge of the card just to hold that switch up. So I'm going to go ahead and peel those off and I'm going to use a little bit of this adhesive tape on a roll. Um, you can play around with this. You may find that you do or don't need to do this depending on the thickness of the adhesive that you end up buying or finding. Um, if you use the Sizzix adhesive, um, it would be honestly nice to find one that's slightly thicker than this. Um, but this is what I could find, so this is what we're using. So this extra little bit of thickness kind of helps out um, just to keep that switch from being turned on too easily. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pull the backing off of those so I don't forget about it. I already got those. Okay, and then we're ready to go ahead and put our battery in. I just want to double check that I've got it oriented the right way, and I do, so just make sure positive is up. And then I'm going to use a little drop of super glue right there. Drop that in place, make sure everything's working good. Okay, now, now we just need to glue our card front onto our circuit system here. I'm gonna go ahead and move all these other little pieces out of the way. So 
So to glue this on, I don't want to remove all the tape at once because it's going to be difficult to move around or reposition if I'm not right on. So I'm just going to pull back about an inch on each on two corners. And then I can pull those tabs when I'm all done to, to reveal the rest of the adhesive. So we'll just go with those two opposite corners for now. And we'll go ahead and line up this corner here and just tack it down and then go to the far corner and line it up. Let's see. My card front is just ever so slightly larger. So just go ahead and line up those corners where you want them. And kind of push down in the switch area and then go ahead and pull those strips to reveal the rest of that adhesive and then you can just push down and glue the rest of your card in place. And you can see when you push right there on that little bone area that our card does light up. Isn't that cool? If you have a little bit of adhesive sticking out, you can just trim that off. Okay, so now we just need to embellish our card here. A little rough, rough. I love you, isn't that cute? And a little push here on the bone. So cute. And then we just need to glue this onto our card front. So we'll just flip that over. Give that a nice coat of adhesive. And we'll just put that about a, eighth, a quarter inch all the way around for a mat. Look how fun that is. So you can kind of see the difference in how the Chibitronic light looks. It's a smaller light. Um, and the candle here has a larger um, SMD light behind it. They both work really well. You can kind of see them side by side. Um, you can buy some of both. You can buy one or the other, whatever you think. But a roll of 100 lights is about $7. And I cannot remember, honestly, how much the Chibi lights were. But I know it's only 30 lights and I know it was substantially more than seven dollars so you're getting a lot less lights for your money but they do work really well and they look really nice so I hope you enjoy making these super fun light up cards and that you enjoy the templates that I'm creating and um, that you can use with your silhouette and Cricut cutting machines um, I hope you have a great day and we will see you next time bye bye